I'm Steve Cull with the Division of Forestry, and I appreciate the opportunity to tell you a little bit about what our agency is all about. We were established by legislature in 1912, so we're over 100 years old and been working with our forests out there in the state. But really, our mission really hasn't changed that much. We were put together to control wildfires, to work with landowners such as yourself and others to manage their forest land to achieve their objectives and raise seedlings for uh, reforestation purposes. And since then, our mission is relatively the same. Our methods and have expanded a little bit. New technology such as videos and webinars like this have really helped out to reach people about that type of thing. But again, what we do is we work with private landowners. We have foresters in our six branches across the state that serve all 120 counties. They come out, they evaluate your property, they want to know what your objectives are, what do you want to get out of your property, and they match that with what you have out there and basically lay out a map or a plan for you to get there. Our main mission of providing those services to landowners, we can help from, from the ground up basically. And we can help with planting trees, establishing a forest in your property, to evaluating what you have out there that's already standing. Invasive species control, very important. Our foresters could come out and, and help you with that type of thing. Uh, sick trees, forest health is very important as we get more invasives in here and insects and diseases that are attacking our forest. We have uh, forest health people that can come out and evaluate what's damaging your trees and what, if anything, you can do to control that. So all of that plays a role, but, but in the growing of trees to, to obtain your objectives, it, it could involve any or all of that. Sometimes it's best to just leave it as it is. Nature's doing a good job and all. But the first thing we start with is a plan. We evaluate what's out there. We measure, we take plots, we take data so that we have a good plan. We know what's existing out there and we match that with where you want to get with it. If you want to attract wildlife, we'll show you how to go ahead and, and favor the mass producing trees and, and the ones that are good for wildlife. If you want to enhance wildlife but still have timber and, and grow a product for our forest industries that are out there, we can match all of that up. So there are a lot of programs available. There's some federal programs you may have already heard of, but uh, Things such as federal cost share, the dollars available for that, such as EQIP and other programs that are out there, they, they come and go, but our foresters stay up on that and they know what qualifies you for that or, or what types of situations where you can go search for cost share money. And when they're out there, they can advise you of that or what might be available, how you might be able to get some funding to help you do those projects and to be able to implement that. Once you get established for that, they can help you work through the process. They can designate what trees we serve as technical service providers for those cost share programs. In other words, we our foresters out there, they'll come with you and they'll tell you what it takes to qualify. They'll tell you what you need to do in order to uh, get those funds and they'll come out and check and see that it was done. And they'll notify the, the NRCS and they can go ahead and submit payments. So we can work you all through that process. What might be of interest to woodland owners, even in an urban situation, we do work with cities and communities and even residents that may have some trees on their property, but we also value our urban forest and we work with them to be sure that they provide all the benefits that people do. If a logger is on your property, if you've harvested your timber, we work with the loggers to establish water quality measures. We inspect them and we make sure that the water quality is protected. We don't manage what trees are cut, that's up to the landowner and the loggers to decide, but protecting the environment while they're doing that harvesting, we have inspectors that'll come out and do that as well. I mentioned earlier, we do raise tree seedlings for that, but we raise a variety of them because not every site needs every kind of tree, so that we try to have enough out there that are, will help you to get your area productive and growing in the right way. But if you don't know what trees those are, our foresters will help you with that. There's a lot involved in planting trees, anywhere from getting the site ready to what type of tree, what mix of trees, what will grow best either in shade or in the sun, depending on what your situation is. And our foresters will help recommend and, and, and help you with all of that. And if by chance you need the seedlings, we have two nurseries that raise roughly 3 million seedlings a year. 
and chances are we raise what you need. So you can purchase those through us at a, as low a cost as possible. We try and do that to encourage folks out there to do the plantings, but uh, we'll have those available every fall. But uh, typically in the spring is the best time to plant those once they go over winter and our trees go dormant, then we make them available in March. One of my key duties as assistant director is to pay attention to legislation that's coming down the road, either federal or state, that might impact landowners and forest owners out there. For example, the Farm Bill. Track those and what opportunities are available in there, like cost share. That could help you and help landowners in Kentucky. But there's other things coming up, like shared stewardship you may have heard of, or a good neighbor agreements with the Forest Service. All of those are opportunities to partner and to get additional resources out there to help landowners. Shared stewardship as well as the good neighbor agreement, let us work with the Forest Service, who typically work on national forest lands, but understand that their effect can be far reaching even outside of the boundaries of the national forest. So we work with them and partner and all of that is in an interest of getting more folks available to you and to help you get your objectives met. So you're a woodland owner and you have an interest and you understand that forestry may or may not be able to help you. How do you find out? Well, the best way is a phone call. Call, talk to a forester. You may only have a couple acres and you don't think it's not worth it. Every acre out there counts. Every acre could have some improvement work on it or at least should be cared for and managed. So while we may not be able to do a full plan if you have a small amount of acres, a couple, three acres, five acres, whatever, but we could still help you. We still have advice. We still have foresters out there that can help you do what you want to do. Larger areas, you want to get into long-term types of plans. So you have a, a farm, what have you. Our foresters are there to help you as well. And again, the best way is to start with a phone call. We have six branch offices that serve 120 counties. So who do you call? Well, again, by the county that your property is in, you would call the office that serves that county. And you can refer to the map and go to our website, eec.ky.gov slash natural resources slash forestry. And that map will be there for you to access. But you would call that particular office. They would have their foresters scheduled, who's assigned to those areas, and they can get you started. Well, like the old saying says, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. But in a division of forestry, that's very true. That's why we're here. We were established by legislature to provide a service to landowners who maybe didn't have access to resources that they could uh, help them to manage their forest. So, we offer a variety, like we've mentioned throughout this, anywhere from uh, tree plantings to harvesting and everything in between. So I encourage everybody to get in touch with the Division of Forestry. If you have a wildfire, call us. You know, we'll take care of that. We'll, we'll manage it. If you have tree planting information you need, we got that. If you need some recommendations on how to go about selling your trees, we've got that. Who to contact, we've got that. And again, our foresters out there, and they're ready to help. You might need some other resources out there, maybe a wildlife biologist or maybe a soil conservationist. All of our folks have contact with their people. They can arrange that. We have partnerships with all those other agencies that can help get those people to give you the assistance that you need. Kentucky's forests provide a lot of benefits to everyone in the Commonwealth, whether it be wildlife, recreation, water quality, air quality, or even a raw resource for a timber products industry that's a $13 billion industry here in the state of Kentucky. Your all's forests are part of that. And we're here to help. We're just a phone call away. 